All right, so we're gonna go back to the darks again with the water. Oh, my paintbrush seems like it has a lot of stuff in it. Hopefully this works. And that's the sap green. Um, yeah, there's a lot more sap green in there. Sorry, I'm going back. And what was the other color? Um, purple and raw umber. So see, I started this effect going on over here already. We want to keep it going. Okay, so it's purple and raw umber. And sap green. And, well, sap is the main Mostly color. Mostly sap green. So you want to get as much of this motion as you can in here. It gets thinner as it comes forward. Thinner meaning like the, 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 the lines that I'm creating with this sort of get thinner. Okay, so we get, we've got a lot of that. I'm gonna pull this, a little more of this color in here. A little thicker. Where's the purple at? Purple, I want a little more purple. So you want, so someone asked me, now how can I get this here area to be lighter, was it? Lighter, was it you? Mm -hmm. And the secret to that is to actually create all this dark color around it. And that's what's gonna make it stand out mm -hmm. lighter. I'm just filling that in more because it seems like it's got to be blended a little. I'm trying to control making it like juicy the paint in this area so that you can get a con more control over these uh, little waves or little ripples. In this area I'm going in a circle because I want to make it feel like there's ripples and circular motion. See? Okay, so once you get all that in that's kind of the key to this whole side. You get that right, and the rest is really easy. Okay, now we're gonna get the blue. Okay, I'm gonna come over this way, watch out. Clean that brush. So the blue, we're gonna start with a darker blue. And I need a lot of turpentine to loosen that up. Um, yeah, that's the darker blue, that's down here. Oh, that's light, <laughs> that's not dark. Wipe that off. Um, so probably green. darker than that. So I have to add more blue to that because I don't want to go that light. I've got three cut three values here. I've got this dark one that I'm trying to make, which has I'm gonna put a little raw umber in it just to darken it up a little bit more, like a deeper. See how that just made that deeper? Yeah. That's what I see. It's a little tiny on the it's deeper. So you get your deep color, your mid-tone, and some highlight. That's what's going to happen down in here. Still a little more raw umber I want to put in there. A little bit more. So there you go. It should be okay for now. It's the color is so important. I'm deepening it a little more. Okay, here we go. See, I'm just going to spread what's there. It's all the way over there. So this is the next thing where you want to get that. Get your ripples in there. Sort of the way you see it. You got the dark and then you just keep building. And this, can, this is going to tie into the right side. All this is going to tie in here. What color did you say you used for the darkest? Is that, was that? I added a little raw umber to the cobalt blue. Raw umber, okay. And I'm letting it go in there. I'm letting it blend right in together. Whoops, wrong one. There's a lot of these little, there we go, it's smoother. So the wetter the paint is, smoother these ripples are going to be. That's not smooth. So I want them to be smooth. There we go.
Now notice how all that light area is getting lighter looking. I'm gonna get more of this here. Now I'm gonna go up a notch in color value. And here we're gonna start putting in and that's just light the lighter cobalt. one. Yes. Just white and cobalt. All inside here. Underneath of all those little things I built. And it gets thinner as you go back. So the, really the stroke should be much thinner here. See how? Because as you go back in perspective, that's what happens. Come all the way across and keep bringing it forward. The music goes perfect. <laughs> and then when you are ready, then you start and I'll continue a little more on this, but then when you're ready, you go into the lightest light, of the lighter blues, and that's when you put the little icing on top, if you want to call it. Let's see if I can get the icing mixed here. I think that's the way you mix the nail. Now we got a little blue in there. Didn't get mixed. So then this is where you put your, your little highlights. Let me get that mixed better. One more time. And it's like you're seeing all that ripple. Loose, the looser the paint, the better on this. Here we go. And then you can soften it up with this with the you can come back in and soften it up with a dry brush. Just a little bit here and there. Because it's a little hard looking right now. So just a little bit of just a little bit of dry brush. Hardly any. Oh, goodness. I lost the brush. Wait a minute. It's all the way down the other end of the town here. Okay. That's because I'm on the other side. Just want to get more of this stuff happening. This is the light color. Let's see, I need a lot of turpentine. There we go. All right, now we can get some control. You might want you might want to even go any lighter than that. Let's see, so this is the high point. I might not put this high point so far to the edge here. Keep it dark on the edge here because you want your eye to stay in the piece, not leave the piece. So this I might not, there we go, just tone it down so it stays in there. So it's sort of, we can just keep a little bit more of it coming in here so it leads you back. Some of it can come in here. Okay, 